Leck and Greg Vegan Camp, the 17th of September 2019. One of the most interesting things is that those, those papayas have been green there for more than a month, I think. A long time without any ripe papayas. But I think it's uh, quite standard. Quite normal for the papayas to stop ripening and during the when the rain comes and, and then they will ripe, ripen up after like I don't know maybe uh, October November they will start to ripen up but I'm not sure that the seasons change a little bit so you can never really know but it's quite interesting that that some periods you have like one or more papaya per day that is ripe and then you have periods where they're just like green on the trees it's also season for these guys, the passion fruits. Ripen up some bananas for... This, this box was full of bananas. And the reason why is because I wanted to fill up the freezer because we were like not having a lot of bananas in the freezer. So the ripening process in a box that is closed, it's, it goes really, really fast. And this cactus fruit, dragon fruit, um, it's season now. And uh, Lek just bought this from uh, from a house nearby. We only had like very few of these growing here, and they were very small. I thought this flower would die after a month or so, but it's uh, staying as a flower for many months now. And chili season. We actually have a lot of chili around. This is just near the kitchen. And also behind there, there are chilies. And actually, small potato, uh, tomato, not potato, tomato plant that didn't really produce much. And what excites me a lot is like tomato plants like this, just like growing by itself. It's, it's self planted. Probably a, a bird ate a, um, ate a tomato last season and then pooped around here. And now it's just like, when it's season again for tomatoes, it started growing. And also here in this area, in front of the house, we usually have tomatoes. And this is just also like, it just grew from old seeds probably. Nobody planted it here. So a lot of chilies again. And one of the things is that chilies are heavily sprayed in, in Thailand. Except if you grow them by yourself. And so it's so nice to have your own chili. It's not because I, I, I like to eat a lot of chili, but it's just nice to, for like a papaya salad or just have a little bit of, of chili in your food. It's, it's, it's quite nice. And it's nice to have something that is not heavily sprayed. I, I tend to enjoy the food and I can relax when I eat it, uh, the food more, when I know that, I, that it's grown in, in good conditions and it, like, it makes me feel good. A lot of green unripe papayas. So papaya salad, anyone? The asparagus field is uh, growing all right. Not m much production of the edible asparagus. Lex raw corn coming up. They will be ready probably in, in two months or something. And the other fields behind were uh, are already harvested. And you can check out the Facebook page if you want to see how that looks like. So many papaya flowers. Mexican spinach fence. Spinach fence. We can have Mexican spinach every day if we want. Looking forward for the beans. Be ready in two months or so. A really amazing chili plant. Look at all of these chilies, man. Whew. Spicy food to the moon. Another durian project and a small tiny jackfruit here together with some of the... Now I planted new jackfruits, jackfruit trees here. So that I'll try to see if they can survive. Because before I planted them and it was... I thought the rain season would kick in but it didn't so they died. Now uh, they're like new trees. This compost area always fascinates me because 
I'm pretty sure that the, the pumpkin here started in this area where I protected it from the chicken. And then it spread all around here. And then there's like a tomato plant also. This tomato plant is probably also from compost or something. You never know where the seed came from. But I didn't plant, I, nobody planted this one, this tomato plant here. And also you can see over here, there are like a ton of papaya growing. They're like small papayas. You can see the leaves are more like star, star leaves compared to the. Okay, this is a this is a pumpkin, pumpkin leaf. And over there, you can see the like like this one. This was this 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 was planted here. But all these small ones, like together everywhere, I think they are from the compost or some compost or something. So it's quite interesting to see how how things develop in a compost area. And also, you can see that the pumpkin started climbing, climbing the the jack jackfruit tree here. These are like well, my first baby jackfruits. Now like very tall and nice. One of our most amazing plants also, the red banana. And the red one red banana has a flower. It's flowering. You have red bananas in in a month or so, in two months. Yeah, it's so fun to see when the rain kicks in and you can see like like uh, these bamboos shooting up and they grow so fast. There's also a shoot like a very young shoot like shooting up I don't know how many meters that is and that's why many people think that the bamboo is like a really good building material because it grows really fast so but if you harvest it too young it's not really like hard and strong and it's more more prone to insects and stuff like that so you still need to wait a couple of years maybe five years is optimal maybe three who knows